Why, hello again there, YouTube. It's Justin, aka Demonic Sweaters, here with another electronic drum product review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Pintech NR6 uh, electronic trigger. And this is a really cool uh, tubular shaped uh, trigger that comes in two varieties. There's a black one and then there's a chrome one. I'm holding the chrome one right here. I actually have the black one already set up on my kit. You might have seen me playing it in some videos already. I've had these for quite a while. I actually haven't tested the chrome one yet, but I'm going to do that today. And uh, these are pretty inexpensive. They run about 50 bucks. I'll post a link down below on Amazon. And uh, they're pretty cool. I really like the black one uh, for what I'm using it for. I kind of just have it here in the middle of my set. Just kind of like an auxiliary trigger where I can assign different things to it. And uh, it works really good for that. They have, uh, they're just a single trigger, uh, single zone trigger rather. They have a very simple mounting bracket right here, which fits on a standard 7 8 size uh, stand. Which, if you're not familiar, that's a very common size. That's actually what the size of the Pearl, like L brackets that mount in Pearl drums uh, that's that size, so if you have one of those brackets laying around, you can mount that on there. And then there's a lot of simple stands that are that size as well. I have mine mounted to a 7 8 tom arm, and then I have that tom arm connected to basically... It's kind of a crazy contraption that I have set up on mine. Yours doesn't have to be this complicated, but I'll show you this uh, in more detail here in a second, how I have it mounted. But there's a lot of ways you can mount this thing. That's what I'm trying to get at. Anyway, uh, one of the things I noticed, though, on these is... You know, Pintex quality control, I think, isn't really the greatest all the time. Like, right here, if you look, the rubber isn't, like, totally pushed down on this thing. And the glue, I don't know. It's not like it's coming off, but it just seems like it was unevenly glued. And it seemed like that on my other one as well, even though it does seem to function just fine, even with it like that. But that's a little thing, you know, I think they could probably pay a little bit better attention to in the factory. Uh, but it is, you know, 50 bucks. So... For what it is, uh, it looks cool and it does the job. And uh, I'll show you guys how it works and I'll give you a little demo. First, I'll show you the black one and then I'll switch it out for the chrome one and we'll see if they're, you know, equal as far as how they trigger. So here we go. So there's what the black one looks like up close. And like I said, there's really not much difference. I think the chrome one may be a little bit heavier, uh, but you know, they trigger equally well, uh, pretty much exactly the same. Now this one, uh, the pad, the surface does seem to also be a little bit, uh, you know, just the glue is a little bit uneven, uneven as well on this one. So yeah, it's just kind of a, it's just a little thing. It doesn't really do anything. It doesn't cause a problem. 
but it's just one of those things I noticed. Personally, I kind of like the look of the black one a little bit better than the chrome one, uh, but it's just personal preference. I think the chrome one costs a little bit more, uh, but like I said, they're equally good. You know, they work really well for what they are. Uh, just a simple little single zone trigger uh, that's compact and you can put it on a stand or on a tom mount. Actually, let me show you how I have mine uh, mounted, even though, like I said, it's pretty crazy, uh, but I want you guys to see it anyway. So here it is. All right, so here's how I have mine mounted to my kit, and it's sitting there, like, basically right in the middle of the two toms, like a cowbell. And, you know, mine's kind of a crazy setup, like I said, but the reason why mine's so crazy is because I just used parts that I already had laying around. So what I have here, this is actually a drum module mount by Roland uh, that's attached to my uh, ride cymbal stand, which is also... Uh, clamped to my tom mount here so everything's kind of going off of this one tom mount on my bass drum but so i have that and then a tom arm like a pearl style tom arm is mounted to that module holder and then i have the nr6 mounted to that tom arm so you know there's a lot of different ways you could do this you don't have to do it exactly how, how i have it um, i've seen photos of people just clamping it right onto a cymbal stand but my cymbal stand here this one's way too thin but if you have a more common uh, sized cymbal stand, this would probably fit on it. Uh, mine are just kind of like a really thin uh, Ludwig flat base stand. So it won't fit on one of those, uh, but it would probably fit on my hi-hat stand right there. But of course, that doesn't really put it in a good place for me. So that's why I rigged this whole thing up. But it's solid, you know, and it works good. All right, that's all for the Pentec NR6 tubular trigger. And uh, yeah, these are pretty cool, uh, inexpensive trigger you can get to add another sound to your electronic drum kit. This is actually a really good upgrade to, say, an Alesis Nitro Mesh or an Alesis Surge. Um, those, you know, I know the Pentec single zone stuff works really well with those because when I had mine, I always used a Pentec single zone crash as my uh, third symbol on there and it worked really really well and I know you could use this on the nitro uh, without issue it should be just fine and I've seen photos where people mounted it on the symbol arm uh, using this the, the nitro symbol arm as long as you put like a rubber there's like a rubber bushing you can put in there you know or some uh, padding you can put in there because I think the nitro arm is a little bit thinner than this mount but it will work i've seen photos in fact there's a photo on amazon if you look on the reviews of this thing you can see how somebody uh, mounted it to their nitro kit they trigger really well they're very reliable as far as accuracy goes and uh, i find that to be the case with most pintech products with the exception of the visualite dual zone crashes that i just reviewed but i'm hoping that i just got uh, some, you know, bum crashes. I actually sent them back to Pentec yesterday. And, uh, well, if you saw that video, uh, not that this video is about that, but if you saw that video and were wondering, I, I was having issues with one of those symbols in that video when I reviewed those, but then after I made the video, I started to have issues with both of them. So I ended up sending them both back to Pentec and they're gonna send me back some replacements. So hopefully the replacements will be better uh, than the ones that I reviewed in the last video, but I'm gonna give an update on that video as well. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload new content. And what do you think about Pintex products? Let me know down below. And also check out my music. I stream on all the streaming services. You can check out Demonic Sweaters and Manasota, which is my other project and uh, follow me on all those things. And also I have a Bandcamp page, which is down below as well. And I've been running that Bandcamp page since like 2006. So there's a lot of music on there uh, that you guys might wanna check out. So thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you guys really soon.